I'm Sid, and these are my best friends. My mom, Kim, my dad, Ty, and my sister, Maddie, who before starting her own adventure, joined us in rocking out a state-of-the-art refit on our floating home. Now, we're ready to set sail to die with memories, not dreams, and live dauntless. We've made some great progress today. We have sanded the bootstripe and now Madison is doing a wipe down solvent on it and we are prepping it so that we can add our stingray gray bootstripe to the boat. Ty is over there doing all of his measurements and calculations for how much paint we need. I'm gonna make a mess, all right? Oh, right where I'm gonna do epoxy later, cool. <laughs> So again, we are doing a Lux Seal because we really like their paint. Because of this stuff right here. And the super cool roll additive. Right. And like all two parts, it's, it's a two to one to one ratio. Why that make it um, Nah, the reducer isn't considered yeah. one of the parts. Induction period, that's what it's called. Induction period. We were trying to remember what the time was while you sit and wait for everything before you can use it, after you mix it all together. It's called an induction period. This stuff is so watery. Yep. All right, now the hot sauce is in. So... What's the hot sauce? Did you put more roll additive in there? Yeah, but just a little bit. Ty, you put the wrong stuff in there? Oh my god. So now I'm gonna put in hot sauce. <laughs> oh my gosh. A little extra roll additive is okay. However. I guess it's better more roll additive than more accelerator. Uh, yeah. What is wrong with you? So for future reference, if you're using Lexiel product, <laughs> the white cap is raw additive and the red cap is accelerator. More importantly, just read the label. Read the label, buddy. What does the label say? Judgy. No, 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 really, what does the label say? Top coat 501 accelerator. Accelerator, okay. that's the keyword. Sassy. Our syringe. <laughs> yeah, the syringe died. Our syringe finally broke, so we're having to. Yeah, it only it only got through two paint jobs. Literally, it died on the last coat of the uh, ice blue. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if I can not get a beard or mustache hair into this paint. I doubt it. Or an eyebrow. Those are the long ones. Let's do this. Sydney wants to do the first one. You need to crawl up there. You don't want you kicking up dust in I my... I didn't bring my step stool with me. Ready? Contact. Huh. That kind of looks like crap, Sydney. Well, you're doing a really bad job. I'm trying not to push too hard. I'm scared. Okay, get down. Huh. Parkour! And she sticks the landing. I didn't even get that on film. That's what's sad. <laughs> it was a beautiful dismount. Stop staring at my butt. Yeah. Come on, ladies. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that droopy butt. <laughs> Diaper butt. Uh, it looks almost black from over here. Ooh, I like it. Where's my... When we painted Dauntless, none of us really liked the idea of a bootstripe. 
To this day, we all agree that we love how classy she looks without it. Sydney and Maddie are both firmly against a bootstripe on this boat. I'm kind of on the fence, and Ty is all for it. So what do you guys think? Leave us a comment below and let us know if you had the chance. Would you paint a bootstripe or not? No more time. Ooh, I hope anyway. Wow. Oh, it's so satisfying. Now, if we could just get the pink fairy to go away. <laughs> that is sharp. No going back. Stop being a negative Nancy. Dad asked what color the bootstripe should be and I said blue. You said ice, ice blue. blue. <laughs> I think it looks good. All right, we have to pull the other side. Let's go. All right, guys, we got another little piece of fun information yesterday. With three business days notice, we were notified that when the boat behind us, that big boat right there goes out on Monday, that we are cordially invited to exit the building and not return. Um, why? I have no idea. We were supposed to have till February, but apparently it's not a lot in life, but that's our lot and this is our life. So we are fighting some temperatures to get the bottom of this boat done. We've got one more layer of fairing on the keels and we have to then do three coats of barrier coat, two coats of bottom paint, and then another coat on the high wear surfaces. We're further under pressure because it is balls ass cold here. And I think last night it was 32 was the low. Tonight's 37 and well, you get the idea. So. Um, we are heating. You're going to love this. Oops. To keep our fairing warm down in there. What do you think, Sid? Is it working out? Yeah, it's warm in there. <laughs> <laughs> the girls keep sticking their hands underneath the fiberglass. So, we're going to do that. One coat of fairing today, and then we're going to get on putting a bunch of sh stuff on the boat. Kim over here has been tasked with the meticulous detail-oriented um, job of... Uh, wiping and then retaping our water line. Hey Kim, yeah. how's it going over there? Great, I'm getting my steps in. Yeah? Up and down and up and down, step up. I feel like an aerobics instructor. <laughs> step up, step down, and wipe. No, step, uh, step up, wipe, step down, yeah, that. So you've heard of hot yoga. Um, this is... Uh, yeah, it's called aerobics. This is ice step ice step class. So we changed the water line on this boat a little bit. The original water line wasn't as great as I was hoping that it would be. It's not quite as crisp, but what I did was, is if you look up here, um, we raised the water line about a quarter of an inch and put three quarters of an inch of tape between the old anti-fouling and the old bootstripe. So we raised the water line a quarter inch, so I put a three quarter inch tape underneath. Whoa, sorry guys. Out, 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 out. You don't need to see my nose hairs that close. So what I did was, is instead I had the one inch space that we originally had between the anti-fouling and the old water line, we just reduced that to three quarter. Reducing that to three quarter allowed us to pull the water line up and go over top of the, um, the new top coat so we get a nice crisp clean straight line and gives us more of a oh, like a pinstripe underneath our new cool stingray gray bootstripe anyway that's enough of me talking i'm gonna fare kim's gonna tape then we're all gonna put a bunch of stuff on the boat and get the hell out of here and get to florida where it's warm bye guys ow does that help you <laughs> I said stop, stop! <laughs> you kept pushing! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
wrong. So, <laughs> you're so graceful. It's finally time to start putting things back on this boat and loading her up with all the goodies to complete her state-of-the-art refit. So we're using the blocks as a step stool to reach the mounting hardware for the swim platform. With that locked in place, we loaded up all the brand new appliances. Easy there, Super Mario. Beautiful. As Eric would say, yeah, she's all the way down. Yeah. All right. Last up, all the laminate we bought from South Africa and our marine grade plywood. It sure is feeling like we're getting closer to being done here. It's an absolutely stunning morning. And we're so excited because today is finally the day we are putting barrier, barrier coat <laughs> on the bottom of the boat, which means her repairs are, are done. And we are almost ready to get her in the water. And it's yeah. exciting. It's exciting. We're so excited we got up early. And we're like, hey, it's high tide. Let's make some water. So let's <laughs> look at the sunrise. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's go put some barrier coat on a boat. We are in the final stretches of all of our prep in order to start doing barrier coat and bottom paint. So Ty is sanding our beautiful rudders that we got from Foss Foam and getting them all prepped so that we can apply our barrier coat. Since the other one still has to be sanded down, then we have to wipe everything down with acetone or lacquer thinner to get it all prepped. And then it's time for barrier coat. 
So happy. Stella's happy too, huh? Yeah, you're so happy. Yeah. We started this journey nearly eight months ago, cleaning somewhere around 10,000 pounds of sand and mud out of the ripped out bottoms of this sunken boat. And now here she is all repaired with just an outline of what was once a tragedy. The dedication and effort of this crew has paid off. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Ah, contact. Look how pretty. We're getting rid of the pink fairy. So where do you want me to start? Just below where I'm at. Chase me. And with a roller in everyone's hand, we all got to cover up that pink fairy. First coat of barrier paint. Oh, of course they will be. She'll get a total of three coats of this light gray. And then her final coats of bottom paint will be a dark charcoal. but you can't even tell that anything ever happened to her. We made amazing progress and got all of our barrier coats done. And now we are doing our essentially first coat, which is of bottom paint, which is actually the high impact areas. You can see Ty is working back here on the water line and getting that high impact area extra coated so it will essentially get three coats while Maddie is over here on oh, hi, hi. the leading edge of the keel and she is doing an extra layer on that as well as the bottom of the keel so all of the high impact areas are going to have a total of three coats of bottom paint Everywhere else, like here, we'll just do two coats and that will start tomorrow. But if we get this coat on today, that means that tomorrow we'll actually have enough time to get both of the coats of paint on. And then, yeah, we'll be ready for all kinds of fun stuff on Monday. I'm so tired of painting. My body is tired of painting, but my eyes are not tired of seeing it painted. So the waterline on this boat obviously is up there, is with bootstripe, but the actual water level is about here. So I've got to paint below that so when the water slops up and down that we get good coverage because that's where there's going to be the most friction is on the leading edges and the water line. So we don't want that to wear through prematurely when the rest of the bottom is in, still in good shape. I cannot wait until tomorrow when we can take that army green paper <laughs> off and all the tape. Oh, she's going to be so beautiful. Completely repaired boat. Bottom. Oh my God. It's amazing. Ah, oh, love it. All right, guys, I know I keep saying today is a very exciting day, but today really <laughs> is a very exciting day because today this boat is going to get bottom paint like fully coated 100% beautiful bottom paint and I cannot wait to rip that tape off and to see this gorgeous boat with all of her repairs and it be done. It's so, so satisfying and so exciting. So 
It's really raining and blowing outside, so I am so glad that we are in the building and we can finish this process so that we can hopefully get out of Georgia soon. Oh my gosh, the rain is unbelievable hitting this building right now. Wish us luck, watch the progress. Here we go. Oh, that works for me. Yeah. Deal here. I did. Close to the edge of that block. You're in your side of the block. Yeah. Oh, Did goody. you see the red light yet? I do now. Well, there you go. There's okay. your answer. All right. So we did have a productive day. It was good. We did get one coat of bottom paint on the boat and she looks beautiful. Sadly though, the temperatures are not quite warm enough for us to do a second coat today. And we're moving out of the building tomorrow so that legend can go and get their boat splashed and make sure all of their through holes are just so. And then they've got a bunch of other boats that are moving around in here. And then sometime either tomorrow, late afternoon, or first thing Tuesday morning, we're gonna come back into this building in this spot. So we had to clean up all of our stuff, move all of our workbenches, get everything kind of stored and stacked away so that they can move us out move legend out then bring a sport fish in another boat in and then us back in so tetris. we stopped i know tetris but in the meantime she looks Our boat's beautiful pretty. we're really happy so how do you like the paint it's gorgeous i don't like it all together i think it's beautiful and i think it turned out great but what i like most about it is that it's done <laughs> Time to go. We're tired. <laughs>